What's going on everybody? The reflection on the enclosure makes it a little difficult to see, but this is my Aviculari Versicolor. And it molted yesterday, which I suspected was coming because it hadn't fed for about a week. I was surprised that it came so quickly though. I came home from doing some stuff during the day with my grandparents and discovered his molt. I will get it out of there in a couple days once I give it some time to harden up his exoskeleton. I don't want to stress him out more than uh, necessary. But him slash her has gained some size, which is awesome. I'm super happy about. And I think this is a sympathy molt. Because yesterday and the day before, I lost the last two of my P. Erminias, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, the first one I discovered, <clears throat> uh, I pulled out the cork bark to check in his webbing and see where he was at, see if he was still there. And he kind of fell out and was in a death curl and appeared to be dehydrated. I'm not sure. And then the other one was perfectly fine that day. And then I discovered it dehydrated, I think. I put it in an ICU to see if it would bring it back, and it didn't. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed, and I think maybe they just hung up in their webbing and they just never came out to go get any fluids. <clears throat> Though I tried to mist around in the area. Uh... It kind of sucks. It's kind of confusing. Uh, I've got several other tarantulas with a lot more difficult husbandry than the P. Arminia. So I'm kind of disappointed I lost all three of the ones I've had. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'll definitely like to get one again further down the road. I'll get one with a little bit more size because those were some little bitty guys. But, you know, I've got... A couple other ones that started off little bitty like lucky and they're doing fantastic so you know i'm not really sure what to equate it to that's the only thing that i can think is uh, dehydration and <clears throat> i also want to take the time to show you some other stuff here as you've seen my video before i rehoused the monocentropus about four and i just wanted to show off this fantastic webbing that this guy's got going on i mean he is blown it up one of the real impressive parts when I turn around here to the entrance of his cork bark and I gotta get that red runner roach out of there that he didn't eat he's hiding down there still is not burrowed to my knowledge I'm pretty sure he just kinda hangs out down there in the cork bark round but still doing fantastic <clears throat> and I love these containers. You can get these at Walmart for three, four bucks, depending on your size. I think the most expensive ones, maybe ten bucks, make awesome enclosures. Uh, this is my green bottle blue. He molted recently. I'm not sure if I got a video on it or not. Where'd he go? I recently found him hiding underneath his cork bark, and I bet that's where he went. No. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's hiding in there. Well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping to show you the size that he gained. He's he's looking really nice. And I need to get some water in that water bowl. <clears throat> But because of the P. Arminias, I had jacked my heat up in my tea room to 80. And I, I'm constantly making sure that I miss them and that they've got water in their bowls. But because of that, I went ahead and, and took it down a notch. I took it to 75. Even though everything else seems to be thriving and doing perfectly fine. You know, I mean, I've got the H. Gigas. They're doing fantastic. They're eating. I, I don't see them ever, so, you know, they're eating, they're alive, that means they're doing great. I, I've seen some uh, remodeling work that they did in there, it's fresh piles of dirt, they were pulling stuff up, so I can assume that they're doing great. The P. Metallicas are doing great. Everybody's doing awesome. Uh, Lucky just molted again, and I'd love to show you a video of him, but that little stinker never comes out of his hole, but I did find a little window on the uh, bottom where he dug all the way down to the bottom. 
and I could shine my light through there and he has, you know, some of the tunnel goes up alongside the deli cup so I can look down there and see him. I know he's doing fine, but I can't get any video of him. So just a quick update on that and show you some cool stuff. I uh, hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving for all my American viewers. And bless you and your families. Have a good one, guys. Later.